Listen, everyone, the world isn't always a safe place. No matter how many kittens or rainbows or rainbow kittens there are out there, there will always be creepy creeps doing creepy things. But every day, awesome people invent new things to help fight against the lowest of the low, like anti-roofy nail polish. Four North Carolina state students invented a nail polish that will change colors if it detects the date rape drugs Rohypnol, Xanax, or GHB. Now women can simply dip their finger into their drink and find out if someone slipped something in when they weren't looking. And color-changing nail polish is just the beginning. There are a lot of anti-scumbag tools on the market. Anti-rape vest. Two students in India invented a vest that, if activated, will deliver a 110-volt electric shock outwards through sensors on the outside of the fabric. It comes in denim and acrylic and is powerful enough to incapacitate the attacker for 10 to 15 minutes. Feel free to kick him while he's down, too. Female condom. A South African doctor invented a female condom that is lined with sharp teeth that women can wear as protection. If assaulted, the rows of razor sharp teeth would attach to the man's member and would sink in so deep it would have to be removed by a doctor. When attached, the man will not only be in pain but won't be able to pee or walk and if he tries to remove it himself, it'll sink in deeper. Hairy stockings. A Chinese invention is being called anti-pervert leggings. When worn, they give off the effect of having extremely hairy legs, something that may deflect unwanted advances. AR wear. An Indiegogo campaign is looking to design fashionable clothing that are extremely hard to remove, rip, or tear. Their clothing has a built-in skeletal structure, cut-resistant straps, and locking systems. The shorts, pants, and shirts are still soft and comfortable to wear, but also will help protect you from aggressive attacks. Now, these products are not the solution to the bigger problem. Many women's groups feel that these products may contribute to the growing trend of blaming the victim. If only she wore the nail polish, this could have been avoided. These products should by no means stop the focus on creating safe environments for everyone. If you enjoyed this episode, maybe you should watch another one. I hosted one about times the government gave away free drugs. Unacceptable. Crack. A man is suing the USDA, claiming that they hired him as an undercover informant and paid him in crack cocaine, causing a relapse of his addiction. And of course, don't forget to follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Thank you for watching.